Leadership conferences are for people that are super motivated and excited to learn and get better. Here's a spoiler alert for you. Most people aren't like that. This is hard to hear if you work in education or if you have a heart for people, but it's the harsh truth that we must deal with. People do what they need to do. The fact of the matter is most people don't feel like they need to do much. But in this video, I wanna share with you a few strategies that will help you get more people registered for the conference or the event that you're hosting. More registrants equate to more butts in the seats, which equate to more lives impacted, which means that your job, once again, was done and done well. First off, leadership conferences should be legacy events. These should be events that students want to come to. One way to do this is to not make it open for everybody. You heard me right. If you want more people to register and show up, don't make it available to everybody. It's simple supply and demand. For example, you could only invite students in leadership positions and have them invite two of their top leaders. If you're at a smaller school, you could start a student of the year type of award where all professors invite a certain number of students from each class to the event. Make it an event where people dress up. Make it something that students want to go to. Another option is to connect a attendance to grades. You will never get 100% participation, but if you make attendance to your event connected to students' grades, they will register and show up. A small community college in Texas invited me two years in a row to a leadership conference on a Saturday morning. They were always filled to capacity because they made attendance a part of the students' grades. Perhaps a few professors could help make it a part of their syllabus. You can always ask. Third, make them pay to register and give them their money back when they attend. This is something one school did for a conference I spoke at a couple years ago out in Arizona. I thought it was genius. This can also be a way to make sure they attend every part of the conference. For example, the breakout sessions and the keynote presentations. Lastly, have strategically placed and creative food. What do I mean by strategically placed? Always have the food at the end of the conference if you can. Having the food at the end or during a keynote presentation is much better than having the food at the beginning or early on. Then people get sleepy and they wanna leave. Also have creative food options for your students and make the food free. I hope these tips will help you get more students registered for your event and help them attend your event so their lives can be changed forever. We'll see you on the next one.